Which bottles? Their history is astounding. The history of witch bottles, also known as spell bottles, goes back hundreds of years. The origins of this tradition have been dated to the 1500s and were used widely for centuries. During the 17th century, British people often blamed witches for any ill health, or misfortune they suffered. Widespread fear of witches, led to the development of charms, to protect oneself against them during times, when, even the slightest misfortune was easily interpreted, as being caused by a witch's curse. They were made for a variety of purposes, and are used in numerous ways. In early times, the bottle was designed as a way to protect the owner, from malicious witchcraft and sorcery. They were also used as magical guardians, usually walled up into new homes. Spell bottles of this type continued to be used well into the 19th century. They were often ceramic vessels, filled with hair, nails, and even the victim's urine. The pins or nails often were used to symbolize the victim's pain, and the urine symbolizes the target of the curse. The significance of pubic hair and hair was similar to that of the urine. Other traditional items contained in witch bottles include small bones, thorns, wine, rosemary, needles, pieces of wood and in some cases heart-shaped pieces of cloth. The locations in which these bottles were placed, was also significant. They were most often found buried under fireplaces, but also under the floor, and plastered inside walls. Those buried underneath fireplaces, had been found only after the rest of the building had been torn down, or otherwise demolished. It is believed that after being buried, the bottle captures evil forces which is impaled on the pins and needles, drowned by the wine, and sent away by the rosemary. The practice of concealing witch bottles appears to have started in the 16th century. Almost invariably in the 17th century, a German stoneware bottle was used, colloquially known as the Bellarmine, also as Bartman jugs. These types of bottles were named after a particularly fearsome Catholic inquisitor, Robert Bellarmine, who persecuted Protestants and was instrumental in the burning of Giordano Bruno. They were manufactured in several locations in England, either by English potters copying German patterns, or by immigrant Germans. The bottles can be easily identified as they were made of brown or grey stoneware, glazed with salt, and customarily adorned with the figure of a bearded man. Of around 200 English witch bottles on record, 130 are Bellarmines. The most common purpose for constructing a witch bottle today, is capturing negative energies targeted at the constructor of the bottle, their family, and their home. Until next time, thank you for listening, and blessed be. The building had been torn down, or otherwise demolished. It is believed that after being buried, the bottle captures evil forces which is impaled on the pins and needles, drowned by the wine, and sent away by the rosemary. The practice of concealing which bottles appears to have started in the 16th century. Almost invariably in the 17th century, a German stoneware bottle was used, colloquially known as the Bellarmine, also as Bartman jugs. These types of bottles were named after a particularly fearsome Catholic inquisitor, Robert Bellarmine, who persecuted Protestants and was instrumental in the burning of Giordano Bruno. They were manufactured in several locations in England, either by English potters copying German patterns, or by immigrant Germans. The bottles can be easily identified as they were made of brown or grey stoneware, glazed with salt, and customarily adorned with the figure of a bearded man. Of around 200 English witch bottles on record, 130 are Bellarmines. The most common purpose for constructing a witch bottle today, is capturing negative energies targeted at the constructor of the bottle, their family, and their home. Until next time, thank you for listening, and blessed be. Identified as they were made of brown or grey stoneware, glazed with salt, and customarily adorned with the figure of a bearded man. Of around 200 English witch bottles on record, 130 are Bellarmines. The most common purpose for constructing a witch bottle today, is capturing negative energies targeted at the constructor of the bottle, their family, and their home. Until next time, thank you for listening, and blessed be.
listening, and blessed be.